Hi there. In my previous video, I showed you how to do cracked paint using a two-step process where we apply the crackle glaze on top of a painted background like our black here and then we painted white acrylic paint over that. And that's a fairly easy process to actually do. But there is another method and I'd like to show you that today. So I have taken my same black craft um, paint or acrylic paint and I've just roughly coated it on here. It doesn't have to be terribly even. And now I'm just going to use some craft glue and spread that all over here. The idea behind this process is, is that we're going to be working with the paint on top of the wet glue and they dry at different speeds, which is why we'll get the cracks for this method. So let's have a bash and let's hope it works out well today. Maybe I haven't chosen the right day because it's raining here and it might be too damp. You want to make sure that your crackle goes right to the end, which is why I'm spending a little bit of time just making it come to the edge. Otherwise, you're going to find that you have a bit of paint revealed and it looks as though you've stuck your thumb in it and it hasn't covered evenly. Okay, so we just get that right to the edge nicely and then just roughly smooth it over. As I say, your undercoat doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to be applying paint on top of this. You can easily just see whether you've coated or not by just seeing if you've got any areas that look a little bit dry, like that little section here. I just want to smooth over that. Okay, once it looks nice and evenly coated, we're going to swap brushes, get myself a nice clean brush, and I'm just going to be using some white acrylic paint to paint over this. You don't want to brush over this backwards and forwards too much because otherwise what's going to happen is that you're just going to mix the paint and the glue together and that's not going to be a very satisfactory <laughs> mixture other than a gluey paint. So you just want to lightly go over this. You can see I've got my brush at an angle so that I'm actually just very lightly dragging it across the glue surface. And I rotate my project, as you can see, just to make sure that I can cover it nicely. So even though I'm now going over this in a different direction, I'm doing it incredibly lightly. And while we just give this a moment to react with the glue, I'm actually going to just touch up the sides here. Because obviously when I was painting with the black, I think I must have had some on my thumbs. And... Um, that's messed up the edges. You can see here already where it's starting to dry that it is starting to craze a little bit. Obviously some of the thicker areas here will take slightly longer. When paint is wet you will always see it reflecting nicely and as it gets dry it will be more matte so that will give you a good indication of um, when things are dry. The way to finish this off is to either apply um, a water-based varnish like one of your decoupage varnishes which come in matte or in gloss. Those work very well for things like boxes and um, yeah, any surface that doesn't require heat. This is a, um, a coaster size um, piece of board. So if I was to use this for a coaster, the normal deco varnish isn't very good because when you put down a hot cup, it just sticks in it. So you get a ring mark. So on this one, I think I would prefer to use a wax. You could use either one of your chalk paint waxes or we used to get clear floor polish waxes, which we used to polish cement floors in my country. I'm not sure if you get them yours, but you could use something like that. If you can't get that, then what you would be using would be something like an oil-based varnish or a spray varnish, something that is heat resistant. You might have to head to your hardware store for that. Although having said that, they do make um, heat resistant varnishes and acrylics now. You can see what's starting to happen as the um, paint is reacting with the glue that you are starting to get cracks and it's starting to form quite nicely. I can see clearly here as I tilt this backwards and forwards to the light that um, it is drying off nicely, although obviously summer would have been an easier time to do this. I think we can agree though that this is actually working very nicely. And what happens with this kind of crackle is, is that whatever color you have used as your base color, 
in other words in my case it was the black that color is going to show through the cracks so this is a crackle where you would actually use it to get a weathered paint look so you're actually cracking the top layer of paint to reveal the color underneath clearly you can see here that this one is slightly bigger cracks but these ones are forming really really nicely indeed and they will continue to form as this dries off I hope that you are very pleased with this. At the end of the video, I will post some pictures of what the completed item is once the actual paint and the glue have dried completely. But both methods work. The size of your cracks will depend on how much of either medium you put on. So if you were using the Crackle Glaze, which is a commercial product, if you put that on thinly, you'd get small cracks. If you put it on thickly, you'd get larger cracks. And the same with the actual craft glue and the paint together. It will depend on how much you're actually putting through. Both very effective, and this is going to be very nice once it's finished. So I'll post the finished dried product at the end of this video. Please subscribe to my channel. Um, I'd love to be able to share more videos with you. And if you have any comments or any questions, please just scroll down to the comment section below and leave me a message i will get back to you personally thanks then bye for now